Northern Pacific sea stars are an example of an introduced species that is altering the way our food chains are working. They are considered a serious pest in Australia because of its impact, impact on native marine ecosystems and marine industries such as shellfish farming. Impacts on changes with native species. Northern Pacific sea stars are known to have detrimental effects on native marine organisms, mainly because they are voracious predators that eat a wide range of native animals like small fish, oysters, shellfish and clams. They can have a major impact on populations of native shellfish, which are important components of the marine food chain. In Tasmania's Doant estuary, for example, they have become the dominant invertebrate predator. The population had reached 12 million in the two years after they were first detected in Port Phillip Bay. Tens of thousands of sea stars have been removed in eradication attempts, but with little effect on overall population numbers. Even in Japan, where the sea stars are native, some populations show boom and bust cycles, reaching plague proportions for two to three years, followed by rapid declines. The change of population numbers decreasing has been based on the distribution of northern Pacific sea star populations in shipping ports and routes. The most likely mechanism of introduction is the transport of free swimming larvae in ballast water for ships. The ships suck in the ballast water containing sea star larvae in a port in Japan, for example, and let it out in a port in Tasmania. The larvae come out with the water and metamorphose into juvenile sea stars. As one of the short term effects of the introduction of northern Pacific sea stars is a very active predator eating almost any animal it can capture. This means that species that are consumed are in threat of their populations decreasing rapidly. In the long term, this could potentially wipe out these populations, studies have showed, have shown that it has already demolished the scallop populations, which has had a great effect on this industry in Port Phillip Bay. The Victorian government works in partnership with other Australian states and territories to monitor marine waters for new pests, prompt national, nationally coordinated responses to new pest incursions, try to prevent their establishment. Once established, marine pests are almost impossible to eradicate. The Victorian government participates in industry and community education about the importance of reporting new marine pest sightings and practicing strict hygiene to minimise the risk of spreading to establishing pests. The report NPS found outside Port Phillip Bay to the DSE Customer Service Centre on 136186 Rinse and dry all diving and fishing gear in fresh water to kill any attached MPS larvae before entering a different marine environment. For example, Western Port Bay or other beach or dive areas outside Port Phillip Bay. Dispose of any accidentally carried MPS responsibly by freezing them over, placing them in a rubbish or compost bin. On a global level, we need to make sure when using the last water in boats, make sure it is filtered and cleaned out of any potential larvae or any other foreign marine animals to help prevent it from spreading further or getting worse in any other areas.